symmetrical filter. Non-symmetrical filter. Symmetrical filter. Non-symmetrical filter. Hey everybody, my name is Paul, W1VLF, and welcome back to the lab. And uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about amplitude modulation and how to get the most out of the filtering in your SDR when looking for signals and, and finding signals that are buried within the uh, broadcast of a, a very strong station. Um, and although AM broadcasting is very old, uh, one, of the, one of the oldest forms of modulation, uh, and it's not all that efficient, it does allow us to do some interesting stuff with the filters that are available on, on modern SDRs. Um, of course, um, I'm, normally at this point I would build a PowerPoint and go step by step and show you what's going on with single sideband and, excuse me, AM. And um, what I, instead of doing that, I'm going to go over and do a voiceover over, com over uh, computer screen of, the, uh, of actually what's going on. First, I'm going to put a carrier at one mega cycle. No information on that carrier. Okay, so we're over at the computer bench here now. We're using console version 3 and the AirSpy uh, HF Plus, not even the Discovery. So a um, couple of uh, basic things here. We're tuned to uh, 1 megahertz. Uh, the antenna is, the antenna, receiver antenna is connected to an RF generator. So there's nothing nothing else here. Actually, let me, let me just drop, drop off the uh, background there. Um, we're uh, in it using the uh, synchronous detector. The bandwidth is one kilohertz. That means when I turn on this carrier and I add the modulation, one sideband should be here at 1001 kilohertz, and the other sideband should be here at 999.0 kilohertz. So let me turn the uh, our, let me turn the RF generator on. And so now we have. It's kind of a noisy RF generator. Uh, make sure everything is tight. That's better. I had a loose connection there. So here we have a carrier. Let's take a listen. No intelligibility, just 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 like this video. Uh, but now we're going to turn on the one kilohertz tone. This is a single one kilohertz tone modulating this carrier. Okay, now remember I said this filter is not two and a half kilohertz, but one kilohertz wide. And that's where the single tones are. Okay, I'm going to move this over a little bit so you can see it. So here's the center frequency at one, uh, one megahertz, and then a one kilohertz lower tone and a one kilohertz upper tone. Okay, and okay, you can hear the tone there. All right, but do we need all three of these things? So let's take a listen in the lower sideband. Okay, still there. Let's take a look. And we're not the within the IF filtering here is not encompassing the uh, carrier any longer. Now we'll go to the upper sideband and, and disregard this. This is a. Uh, artifact of the generator I'm using. It's a second harmonic. So now we know, and we'll go back to uh, our normal detection, that the same information is in the upper sideband as in the lower sideband. So we really don't need either one of those. Now if I, if I narrow the bandwidth up, all of a sudden the tone is gone because now we're not encompassing either one of those care um, the upper tone or the up or lower sideband tone so obviously to recover the information mute that out for a second uh, obviously to recover that information you need to have the information within the passband of the of the receiver 
So one more time, we'll turn this audio back on. We'll go to the upper sideband. Single tone, lower sideband, single tone, and back to the uh, synchronous AM. And I can move this. Um, okay, so now what we have is, uh, what do we have? 500 hertz tone. Okay, there's my second harmonic again. Same rules apply. I need to encompass both those signals, both of those. Okay, but let's go to upper and lower sideband now. Lower sideband, upper sideband. And then again, back to the uh, synchronous audio detector. So as I move this back and forth, what, what I'm reproducing is a complex carrier, uh, excuse me, complex modulation scheme, right? It just happens to be me cranking the tone, the uh, frequency of the generator up and down in steps of, um, I think it's 100 hertz. Okay, so now we'll go back to our one kilohertz. There's our one kilohertz filter. So one, one last time, just, just to prove it, upper side band, same thing, not taking into consideration this carrier. We've, we've, taken, we've gotten rid of that, and then lower side band, same thing. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up a real antenna to the radio, and we're gonna look at something. We're gonna look at uh, one of the stations here, um, 1320. It's a local AM broadcast station. And then and the upper adjacent is buried in the sideband noise uh, or sideband information from that big local. So let me set up for that, and I'll be right back. All right, let's make a few observations here about this local station, 1320. Uh, right now, we have the audio muted, but you can tell that whatever it is that we're listening to is... Um, very narrow banded. It sounds like uh, someone on a telephone call because it doesn't extend out to the full length of the filter. So let's take a quick listen. They, they're not working. Okay. Uh, solar is, is not adequate for our needs. So we'll mute that again. Um, and, and when they're doing that, let's see, we have uh, an 8 kilohertz filter engaged right now. So let's see what the real bandwidth of that of that station is, uh, of the of the audio that they're producing right now somewhere around plus or minus four kilohertz and go back so let's take a listen and wait for the big guy to start talking they get out there right, and there's the big guy is there for the little man and there he for the modulates guy. all the way out to the, the side to the who, uh, carrier seem of, to get ahead and they're there to me, give uh, them a, a leg up that. they want to help them out of he modulates all the way out to the lower side band of this station that we're interested in so I've already got some filters set up, so let's let's take a listen to some of them, and I'll tell you what's going on. The worst under their All right, policies. he's talking, so, but we're tuned to 1320. Yeah, I always have. I think people have stopped. Uh, people are not listening to you that anymore. have to wait anymore. for him to uh, talk again, because otherwise, uh, without that, that wide, wide band modulation, not the party of the uh, it's guy. not nearly as impressive. Well, they're, and they're, so now they're we'll move to uh, the same bandwidth, and we'll try to copy the station that's adjacent to it right here. We don't hear anything. So you say, well, let's narrow the bandwidth on that station. And we can do that. Now we're down to a 2.5 kilohertz filter. But with him talking, I don't hear much. Symmetrical filter. So let's go to an asymmetrical filter and take a listen. Of course, he's not talking right now. We'll sneak back to uh, 1320 here real quick. You can see the bandwidth is, is relatively narrow. We'll go back up here. So when he when his bandwidth is narrow like that, I can use a symmetrical filter. It's got a little bit of noise in it. Okay, so there's the big guy talking again. We'll go to the asymmetrical filter, which is not looking at the lower sideband. This lower sideband has the same information that this upper sideband has, but we're not interested in that in this case because it's loaded with garbage. It's loaded with all that information that's coming from the lower adjacent channel. And so you can see here it's a, it's a pretty easy copy where you could easily hear some um, a call sign if, if, 
you see the audio right here you can see it extends down here into the lower it that's this station's lower sideband but again these guys have the phone the phone call and man is, is in place so we can use the symmetrical filter but if this was music or if this is the uh like i said the big guy um okay so there goes our station all right because the big guy is talking now we'll go to the asymmetrical filter and see how how effective that is i'm gonna switch back to the symmetrical because this lower sideband which we don't need is combining with what we do want and switch again so this is a very effective way to be able to sort of pull this particular station at 1330 out of the sideband noise or upper sideband of that station so let's go through the progression once again real quick complicated I mean I'm, that's the main I'm like, station I, I, think, I think I'm kind of in an eight guy, kilohertz bandwidth in the world that's eight kilohertz bandwidth centered on the 1330 station that's too wide so let's say let's narrow it up well they went back to uh, the other guy talking so we can narrow it up now and, and hear that it's fine but when the big guy's talking try to do that one more time let's let's do that one more time now I'm gonna have to pause here about the consequences let's take this through one more time this is really 1320 the wideband the, the remarks by symmetrical the this is the 1330 wideband symmetrical can't really copy it this is 1330 wide band, uh, excuse me narrow band and that's 1330 using the uh, asymmetrical filter all right I'm gonna stop this right here and gonna go move over to uh, SDR sharp and do the same thing but I think anybody could pull an ID out of there okay we're back with um, Air Spy and uh, SDR Sharp running. Let's take a listen to uh, the to uh, the the audio here. Okay, that's the 1320, and here's our 1330 uh, here. And let's take a listen to that. Well, it's going to be tough because now now they got the uh, the telephone guy on. Okay. But let's go through the steps on doing this anyway, and hopefully uh, we'll we'll work into a uh, get this back 13, 20. hopefully we'll work into a situation where uh, where where it works <clears throat> real well. So I have a minimalistic kind of a view here uh, open. The only thing I have open is the radio here on the left hand side. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the menu system here, and we're going to open up Zoom FT, FFT. And this 8 kilohertz filter that I have opened here, we're going to want to see that so um, sort of in a much broader uh, perspective. So let's pop open the Enable IF here. And now we can see that filter, or that entire bandwidth is what's encompassed by this filter. Okay, so let's move up to uh, 1330. That's all we're going to do here is 1330. And of course you can see that the third okay so the 1320 guy is talking now and now we're going to enable that filter okay nothing happened right but it gives us the ability to drag that bottom end in get rid of that lower sideband okay grab the higher sideband which is extending into this channel and pull that back so that you can see uh, so you can see how we've tailored it very similar to what's going on in uh, console but here in air spy it's, a, it's just a little bit different so let's disable that filter Okay, that's with the uh, standard wide uh, eight kilohertz wide filter, and you can hear it. And I could I could 
you know, make that filter smaller, two and a half kilohertz. But why would I do that when I could just enable this? And you can see that upper sideband from this 1320 is bumping right up against the um, the carrier of, of the station on 1330. And let me disable that filter. Okay. And we'll re-enable it again. And this is with the other guy talking. So oh, let me move this back to zero. Feels better. Anyway, this is with the uh, guy on the phone talking, because you can see that the bandwidth is very narrow. Okay. There's very little information going up here, but when you get the main broadcaster, the main, the main uh, DJ on there, there's quite a bit of stuff. So we'll go through that real quick again as soon as... Uh, as soon as the main guy starts talking. So when you're doing this sort of semi-live, it's kind of hard to get exactly what you're looking for. So we'll just wait a couple of seconds here if he doesn't. Okay, so there, there's the main broadcast station you know, DJ. You're going to move up to 1330. And there's no way you're going to copy that in an 8 kilohertz filter. So I'm going to suck this right back to the main. Okay, so the main guy is talking right now. There's the other guy. But you grab the, with this enabled, enable filter, enable IF and enable filter, you can grab that bottom sideband, bring it right up to the edge, and then grab the top side. Bring it right up to the edge. So, capability is um, available in both console and SDR Sharp. And this is one of the really cool things. It's so easy to do with an SDR. Anyway, folks, if you enjoyed this or didn't at least didn't fall asleep during uh, the, the presentation, could you give me a thumbs up and, and maybe a, a subscription? I plan on doing more um, SDR type videos as well as the, the big crusher videos. Uh, but right now, um, I'm gonna sign off from this one. So thanks again if you stayed around till the end, I appreciate it. Um, this is W1VLF from the, uh, from the ham shack, I guess, signing off. Thanks for joining me.